last stretch before Apex Mountain. And Wild Horses. Warm night at Apex tonight. Last year, one of the nights I came out skiing here, I put, uh, oh, the two bar just stopped. Get to have chat. I put um, a sticker from I Will Wander on the T-bar as I was on my way up. And this year, uh, I caught something out of the corner of my eye when I was on this. And I looked down, and there's the sticker for my I Will Wander endeavor. It's kind of a neat feeling. A couple more runs and then I'm going to go in and get a bite to eat. Another night sea ski session has come and gone. Up here at Apex. Uh, I couldn't get into it tonight. I don't know what was going on. I just wasn't feeling it. Normally, uh, I'm a lot more excited about things than I was tonight, but I don't know. I shut it down a little bit early and I'm gonna head back and have a shower and recuperate. Hey guys, I'm in Penticton, British Columbia at the moment, uh, and behind me there is a series of motel notels that uh, in the winter months cater to snowbirds and in the summer are extremely busy. Um, packed with tourists. This is an absolutely gorgeous spot down here. Um, just over that way is the lake and there's a beach that goes the whole way along. Uh, if you saw the Naramata videos that I put out, uh, I did this kind of surreal trippy thing where I was on the shore gazing longingly off into the distance. That's just up the highway that way, uh, Naramata wine country. This whole area is kind of wine country. Um, I've spoken a few times the last little while about this screenplay I'm doing called Travelers 383. When I was living in this uh, motel uh, for a couple of months, I skied my ass off the whole time I was there, by the way. Um, there were some very challenged individuals living in my proximity in this place. And uh, I'll just give you a quick shot of this boat behind me. This thing has a whole bunch of historical significance. Uh, it did the last run up this waterway with something I don't remember anyway it's got a whole lot of historical significance it's quite beautiful um, but back to these uh, motels yeah there were some really interesting characters uh, for good or bad uh, that I was um, being exposed to while living just up the road there and that was the impetus for my latest screenplay called Travelers 383 
it's set in a place called the Traveler's Motel, the screenplay. Uh, and there's a whole lot of interesting behavior from a whole lot of interesting people that happens uh, and the dynamics amongst them and whatnot. Uh, none of the screenplay characters are based on anyone I was uh, exposed to there, but it is the sort of impetus of the idea behind setting the story in a in a motel with all these uh, divergent characters uh, li living in the same place, getting up to uh, all kinds of things. I don't want to give too much away. Um, I'll probably talk in detail about it when it's absolutely done, but uh, anyway, I was driving by and I thought I would stop and uh, walk you through the fact that that is... Uh, that's where I got the idea for my latest screenplay. Another day gone here in Kelowna, British Columbia. I am just up from Okanagan Lake, back there. Unique thing about residential in this area is you have vineyards like this right here interspersed among these housing developments. So uh, it makes for an interesting residential situation there. Um, this lake behind me, Okanagan Lake, goes for, I believe it's 100 kilometers. And at one point, I think it's about a kilometer deep, a mile or a kilometer, I'm not really sure, but uh, it's a big body of water back there. Um, there is a legend you may have heard of uh, about a monster living in that lake called Ogopogo, um, passed down from the First Nations groups that have been in this area for tens of thousands of years. Um, I haven't seen Ogopogo, but I've seen wave patterns on the lake quite a number of times that make for really, really interesting effect. And I could see where um, they might get the idea that, that there was something actually moving, in, alive, actually moving in the water. Um, if you ever see an image of it, uh, it's, it's like a snake coming up and out of the water multiple times and then the, the head comes up uh, at one end. Um, and I think the reason they came up with this is um, some of the wave patterns you see, especially in the summer months, give the impression that there's uh, a very large object swimming out there. My little insights into an Okanagan legend, or maybe there's some big ass dinosaur that survived all this time, just waiting to eat ya out in the water. There are sturgeon in there that are um, 10 feet? at least three or four meters big 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 fish um, I've seen photos of people uh, who had found a sturgeon skeleton and they're almost standing they're hunched a little bit but they're inside the rib cage of this fish like this is a big fish those things do exist you see them uh, washed up on shore once in a while and stuff um, I think that's it for the week the Sun has set as I'm talking to you here I'll see you guys in uh, a few days to a week. One more quick shot, trying to do that sunset justice on Okanagan Lake. I don't think this is quite picking it up for the beauty that it is. It's incredible, that sunset back there. here on Okanagan Lake at Island View Villas, as you can see. Hey, there's Ogopogo right there. You see that? It's a sea monster. They've created this entire industry around this supposed monster that lives in this lake. Back here, some development going on, vineyards on either side, and then I'll show you the view you have. That's your view right there. Some more development down there, and that's the highway going by there. I don't know if you can see that. A 
another sunset here in beautiful BC and the perfect spot to end this vlog. Okay, one last attempt to get a shot of this sunset and then I'm calling it. I'm in uh, Peachland. I don't know how much you can even hear of this with the waves and the wind, but um, I am trying very hard to capture that incredible sunset. And then it's Chizi Wu 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 Tabalna. I'm going to shut it down.